Hey there, fellows. In this episode, well, why don't we experiment with electricity? I mean, nobody was even shocked in the previous video. Some time ago we tried sparkling transparent ignition leads, then there was the paper and pencil graphite variant, but this time we're gonna use that which you can actually find inside a car. So that literally anybody and anywhere can open the trunk, pop the hood, grab what's needed and set everything up. I mean ignition leads which should work, but not necessarily. Hey, let's see where the experiment goes. Yeah, let's make ignition leads out of everyday items. This will definitely be a shocker to someone, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, here's what we have. We've got an ignition system right here on the table. I mean, why use a car at this stage when we just want to test the concept? Also, we have this. It's a windshield washer tube. Or the windshield washer fluid. We just needed um, some kind of small tube for this one. And we'll be kicking this off with regular old water. It does conduct electricity after all. We're going to be filling this little tube with water and directing a current through it to see how it all works. Yeah, this seems like a decent place to start. Okay, we have the tube, the water. Pour it right in, don't worry. Awesome. And give me the other one. I'm using a bolt to plug this tube. In order to prevent the water from dripping out. This goes here. Okay. Spin her up. Oh wow, that is misfiring like crazy. For whatever reason, where we want it, we have nothing. Instead, it's just all over the place. Wait a second. I can only see a very, very weak spark. Yeah, it's barely even there. Calling it a spark is an overstatement. It's more of a... Um, it's much more pronounced at the coil. As for the spark plug... You can't call that a spark. I mean, it is a spark, but it's so weak that you can barely even see it. No case of water isn't really doing it for us. But as we are all well aware, if you were to add a bit of salt to the water, that is going to make it a much better conductor. That's enough, apparently. Come on, mix. That should do the trick. Place the spark plug. Yeah, that is so much better. The salted water is a much better conductor. As you can tell by the spark. I can also see a spark over here, though. Eh, no worries, I guess. Okay, let's make us a set of all four, then. Fit them to a car and, um, see how they perform. Let's do this. Okay, check this out. The leads are in place. They're all nice and transparent. Filled with water. Okay, try starting it, let's see. We're looking good. The engine just fired right up. It's running. Give it some gas. Very nice. The engine is running just like it would in stock form. But there is one thing I should mention. Switch it off. Let's imagine that you don't have water. Or even any piss, I don't know. What do you do then? I say we try replacing the salty water with washer fluid. Is it going to conduct electricity or is it not? Let's find out. Check this out. We've grabbed some lovely washer fluid, poured some into the tube, and now let's try... We're about to find out if this works. Grab the spinny thing. Turn. 
Something's happening, look at that. I see a spark, but it is pretty weak. I had no idea that water fluid can conduct electricity. Well, let's... do all four leads then, and see how they work. Okay, so we've loaded the tubes with washer fluid. Now we see how the engine is going to work. Fire it up. It runs. Amazing. Okay, well, if you can use windshield washer fluid for this purpose, let's try something else. What else do we got? I've got it right in my sight. Another engine bay reservoir that contains coolant. Where's that tussle? Anyway, let's see how it do. Spin it up. Look at that. I'd say it's about the same, as with the washer fluid, perhaps even slightly better. So as you can see, the tubes containing antifreeze are right here, let her rip. It runs. This is rather interesting. Still works. And quite well at that. This is Tassel grade cooling, right? It is Tassel. Why don't we try it out? We should try everything out while we're at it, right? 100%. We've established that antifreeze works, so let's drain it and try Tassel grade antifreeze. See if that changes anything. Go for it. There is a weak spark, but it has to be a tad weaker than... Seems weaker than with antifreeze. But we do have spark, and so... Let's fit these to a car and see what happens. Okay, the tubes now contain tussle grade antifreeze. Let her rip. It runs. How does all of this even work? I am very curious. But there you go. Everything works. Awesome. Switch it off. Hmm, what else do we have in the engine bay? Why don't we try... All cars have batteries, right? Of course they do. And batteries contain electrolyte. Unless it's a gel battery. Now we have to be very careful dealing with electrolyte. Go ahead. There we go, as soon as there's a bit in there. And now, let's have a look. Oh, holy cow. But then, this was very much to be expected. Electrolyte is a fantastic conductor. Just look at that spark. We have air bubbles in the tube and they... aren't a problem in the slightest. The current just goes right through them. Let's do all four tubes. Fill them with electrolyte and see how they do. Let's do this. Okay, I can see a chemical reaction occurring. Gas is moving around, but let's try anyway. The bolts are corroding fast. Oh, 
Cylinder one's misfiring. Where? Oh, holy cow. Yeah, look at the distributor. You can see the spark coming through in the transparent tube. Yep. It's the same with cylinder four. Oh yeah, you're right. Where the gases have accumulated. We have lightning inside the tube. Will you look at that? We have gases forming. They fill the tube. And the gap, I mean the interval between pockets of liquid. That's where we see a spark being generated. This is so cool. And here we were sticking bits of copper into a transparent tube. We should have done this instead. This is really neat. Look at that enormous spark. It's only in a few spots where gases have accumulated inside the tubes. Those weird, mysterious gases. We have some gas over here as well, but it's not dividing the electrolyte completely. There is a small bridge that allows for the current to pass through. But over there you have some really impressive sparks. Also next to the distributor. Yeah, that is a mighty spark. It's not feeling too well, eh? Yeah, that is not good. Yeah. Look at where the coolant is dripping down the cap. Give it some gas. All of the liquids minus the water yielded some results. Ordinary water didn't do it for us. Adding some salt to it obviously made it a better conductor. That worked very well. Windshield washer fluid did as well. Tossel grade antifreeze, regular antifreeze, and electrolyte. The only problem with the latter was the chemical reaction, with those gases forming as a result. We've pretty much tried all of the fluids. Pretty much. But next to the distributor we have what? A fuel line that contains gasoline. Let's give it a try. Does anybody know if gasoline even conducts electricity? Okay, there's the gasoline. Let's see if it's actually gas. There it is. It burns. Go for it. Let's try this out. We decided to skip the bench test and immediately fit them to a car. And let's see where this goes. Let it rip. And there's your answer. You can see the sparks on the distributor cap. So we good, we do have spark. Let's try one more time. That'll do. No use continuing to turn it over. And so there you have it, guys. We filled the tubes with gasoline to no effect. No combustion occurred. I mean, we saw sparks on the cap, and if we were to pour some onto it, it would have combusted. But it's not inside the tubes, because it ain't making it out of them. That said, it is not a conductor. Anyway, so if an emergency occurred and you lost an ignition lead, all you'd have to do is grab a windshield washer tube, trim it to the correct length, and fill it with whatever. Could be washer fluid, antifreeze, toss all, you fit that and off you go. We just witnessed that this is a working solution, and it works pretty well. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up, 
All right, catch you later.